I'm going to take away. Remember with subtraction, that subtraction is the opposite. So I'm going to take away the negative 5, or I'm going to do the opposite of negative 5. So that would be plus 5, and 10 plus 5 is 15. So you want to remember, when you have minus, minus, you're taking away the negative, or you're taking the opposite of the negative, which would be positive. 13 minus negative 2 minus 7. Remember, all of the minuses are the opposite. So I have 13, and then I want the opposite of negative 2. And the opposite of negative 2 would be positive 2. Then here I have a 7, but here I have a minus. I need the opposite of 7 is negative 7. So I have 13 plus 2 is 15, and 15 and negative 7, or 15 minus 7, would be 8. Okay, negative 4, take away 6. So you want to look at this as you have negative 4, and then you do the opposite. So you're going to take away or do the opposite of positive 6, which would give you negative 6. You have negative 4 and negative 6. And so that it would be like 4 negatives and six negatives, so you'll notice you don't have any positives to cancel with the negatives. You need a positive and a negative to be able to cancel. So you've got four negatives, you have six negatives, you have 10 negatives. So that's one thing you wanna look for, is this is not a subtraction problem. Subtraction problems don't have two minuses. Think back to second grade. All those subtraction problems had one minus, just one. So when you see two minuses, that is not subtraction. Two minuses is not subtraction. I'm going to add, so 4 and 6 is 10, but I'm adding negatives, so I have negative 10. Okay, 9 minus negative 12, that is 9, and you're going to take away, and I have 12, you're going to take away 12, so it's the opposite, so it becomes negative 12. So I have positive 9 and negative 12. Now because you have only 1 minus or negative, this is a subtraction problem. Right? You can recognize a subtraction problem by there only being one minus, one negative sign. So if you have 9 and 12 and you subtract, you would get 3. But now you got to check because you have positive 9 and negative 12. So that's 9 black dots and 12 red dots. I have more red dots. I have more negatives. So I have 3 extra negatives. So the answer is negative 3.